Good afternoon and welcome. Um, my name is Troy Hayes and I have the privilege of being the Water Services Director for the City of Phoenix. And I'm excited that we could come together today to highlight the uh, Electrical Apprenticeship Program and as well as our graduates here. Um, it's a great accomplishment that they have. It's been four years in the making. Um, and they've come through the other side to be employed with the city of Phoenix. But before I get to that, um, I kind of want to introduce a couple of people that we have with us. We have our mayor, Kate Gallego, our assistant city manager, Jeff Barton, our assistant HR uh, human resources director, Dave Matthews and his staff, as well as um, some of my supervisors that were involved with this, Oscar Corona, as well as Tamara Henry. The electrical apprenticeship program is an intricate program it takes a lot of moving parts and, and effort. And it does take a lot of coordination to get that done. And so I also appreciate all of our staff's effort in trying to make sure that we come out the other side with successful candidates. At the end of this, our candidates are gonna come out with a couple of certifications today. Uh, they have the a certificate of the Arizona State uh, Apprenticeship Completion, as well as the classification of Jer journeyman inside wireman to the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to our mayor, Kate Gallego, to say a few words. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being here today to celebrate an important milestone. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. The city of Phoenix is really committed to having best-in-class opportunities as well as delivering high-quality service. Uh, these gentlemen have completed a very rigorous training program, and they did it during a pandemic, which makes it even more difficult. So we want to celebrate their investments in their future, as well as what they'll be able to provide to the city of Phoenix. We know that uh, we are a quickly growing city with a, many advanced challenges, and we need a workforce that can come up with whatever challenges are in front of us, so we need the best training. The council and I have been very committed to investing in our city of Phoenix workforce and making sure we are ready for those future challenges. We are strong supporters of apprenticeship program where people can really get the skills they need for the future and hopefully improve your own economic opportunities. This really is an, an exciting milestone for the city and, and we congratulate graduates today as well as those who we were unable to celebrate during the pandemic, but uh, a, a great successful program for the city. Apprenticeship has been important to the city of Phoenix and we're gonna continue to make these investments as we prepare to meet the demands of our residents. So thank you for being with us to celebrate this exciting milestone. And as Assistant City Manager, I just want to acknowledge your hard work and everything that you've done over the past couple of years working towards this. We know it's very difficult to go to school and continue your, your education, but it's also it's important and hard to do that while you're also working, especially during a pandemic. So hats off to you for all of your hard work. You know, during this program, you've gotten more and more progressively responsible work and exposure to different types of systems and electrical components. And through at the end of that process, you're now journeymen and you're now City of Phoenix employees. And I want to thank you for that. You're what keeps the lights on here and, and allows us to do all the wonderful things that we do for our community. So thank you for your hard work. I also want to acknowledge that there were three other individuals that completed this process prior to this. And unfortunately, because of the pandemic, they can't be here. So I'd like to acknowledge them as well. And I believe their names are Mike Sordia, uh, Raheem Rivers, Ranique Rivers, and David Patton. So I'd like to recognize them as well.